Kia my name is Harry. Me and Alina have been working on a project. It is about migration. We hope you like it. The island was overcrowded. It was time. Everyone was hungry. We all wanted a new place, a new island we could all live on without being overcrowded. Everyone knew it was time for, for mass migration. Our chief built a big double hulled walker for all of us to sail on. The rickety waters, they splashed on our walker. We knew there was land and we wouldn't give up until we found the land. We sailed for days. I know, it was maybe weeks. We went on and on and on and on until, until we found a long white cloud. From, from, our, from our experience in sailing, we knew that there was land under that cloud. We sailed towards the long white cloud. Little we knew, we had reached a big, a gigantic piece of land called Aotearoa. I hope you I hope you enjoy our story. How we got to Aotearoa, like Kuta, our island was too small. We needed a new land. Me and my friends went to go and look for a new island because our island was too small, so we hopped on our waka. When we hopped on our waka, we start to move. Then we discover Samoa, Tonga, and Fiji, Cook Island, Hawaii, Easter Island. As we travel, we use the stars to navigate. As we sailed on the Pacific, the largest ocean on our planet, 500 years later, Cook arrived in Aotearoa. Then we saw some birds, and when we saw birds, it was good luck, so we followed them. Then we find the land of long white clouds. We went back to our old island and told everyone else to get supplies. Thank you for Thank you watching, watching our, our video. video. I hope you enjoy. Kaki te. Once there are two boys in Taiwan. Their names are Gabriel and, and Josiah. They made the biggest waka holdua in the world. They used a rimu tree to make the waka haurua. We traveled southeast to Samoa and got supplies and held them in calabashes. We traveled to Hawaii. It took three months to get to Hawaii. Then we set sail to Easter Island. We saw a big rock sculpted as a face. Then we took off to Tahiti. We used the stars to navigate to Aotearoa. Kia ora, my name's Kupi. Who are you? I'm Gabrielle. And I'm Josiah. Kia ora. My name's Josiah. And my name's Gabrielle. We made the video.
day, the Maori had discovered most of the Pacific. Then one day, they saw birds fly to unknown places in the Pacific. They set sail from Hawaii. They were following the birds. They stopped at a group of islands to restock on food and water. Once they were finished getting resources, they saw Aotearoa, and they sailed as fast as they could to get to Aotearoa. Soon they went back to Hawaii to tell everyone about their discovery. While they were traveling, they discovered the Cook Islands and Fiji and Tahiti. Then, 500 years later, Captain Cook arrived. No, no, no. Uh, Kia ora, my name's Nene. Kia ora, my name's Nene, and today we're going to be sharing a story that we made with you. 1,000 years ago, there were two people on the water. Their names were Kupi and Haite Aparangi. Kupi was seasick for a minute, and Haite Aparangi was fine but grossed out. They sailed and navigated by the stars and the birds. They travelled to Guam, Caroline Islands, and then New Caledonia, Fiji, Tonga, to Hawaii, Tahiti, Rapa Nui, to Aotearoa. Then they went back to Taiwan to get to the others. And then 500 years later, Captain Cook arrived at Aotearoa. thousand years ago there were two people that came to New Zealand. Their names was Arian and Cottrell King was ring. And when he got here, his name the lad Cottrell land. But when other people sorted in to settles in okay. settled in he got old and died then people decided on a name it was New Zealand the story how to got here was amazing story story how were how here was by walker but they needed supplies so they got food and the food they had was banana fruits pretty much and they got water from leaves. How they got was cool first. They got wet leaves and squeezed them into a bottle and put in it in then they were they woke up re were ready so they got the big woke and hit to someday the sea the day the day sea at night they used the stars as na navigating, but when it was sp spring, they saw birds go to an island. And every sp spring, they traveled south. One day, the Māori set off to the Pacific Ocean. They went on a waka to set off. 
They use the stars to navigate. Also the birds because the birds keep coming back and forth. And they took calabashes. They took water and fish. They stopped at a different island. Okay guys, now here's some feedback. Islands get food. The Pacific Ocean is the largest exposed of open water on our planet.